Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, Developer Advocate here at Dremio, and uh, a new alpha connector has been released for Airbyte. So Airbyte is a data integration tool, which means it's for ingesting data, for getting data from one place to another place. Um, has several different way places you can get data from, your sources, and several places you can send data to, destinations. Um, and basically there's a new Apache Iceberg connector. It's an alpha, so it's really early stages, but I figured let's talk about how you can ingest data into Iceberg using Airbyte and then query it with Dremio. Okay, so bottom line is that this works, this particular connector only works with the open source version of Airbyte, so you have to self-deploy it. So um, not with currently with the cloud service of, at the moment of the Airbyte cloud service. Um, but it's pretty easy to deploy Airbyte locally. Okay, essentially you would just navigate to like an navigate your terminal to an empty folder on your computer okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a git clone okay and that's gonna clone the repo which I've done I've cloned here uh, in VS code okay and you can see I have everything kinda of running in there and then you're gonna CD into the folder that you just cloned because when you clone it's gonna create a new folder and all that codes gonna be in there you'll CD into that folder and you just run this command and this will do everything you need to start up it'll take a little while but once it starts up you'll start seeing just kind of a bunch of output like this which means everything is open and then you'll be able to head over to localhost 8000 when you first get there it's going to ask you for a username and password which is going to be airbyte as the username and password as the password okay again localhost meaning your computer now the way this works is essentially you can create different sources which are places you get data from so in this example I'm just getting data from an arbitrary file okay so literally I just uploaded a CSV file that I generated with mockaroo.com and then I just put the URL to that file right there. Okay, so it's just literally, I uploaded it to Cloudinary, um, but you could also upload to S3, really anywhere you can create like a public URL directly to the file. Probably S3 or Cloudinary are probably gonna be your best options. Okay, and, but yeah, I have that right there uh, as a CSV file, and then that's my source. So that's where the data is coming from. Okay, and then I have a destination, and as my destination, we have Apache Iceberg. So just to show you how I would have created that, I click on new destination and then you see here you only see so many options okay because right now I'm only seeing the GA connectors and the beta connectors now if I want to see all the upcoming connectors that are in the earliest stages I click on alpha and it's gonna show me all these other connectors that now exist okay and what I want is the iceberg one so to save myself some time I'm just gonna type in iceberg and now I get to the iceberg connector now in here you're gonna be able to choose from multiple catalogs Okay, and right now if you're using Dremio, Dremio does support Hive Catalog if you're using Dremio software and Hadoop Catalog, which again, Hadoop Catalog just means file storage. So that's like storing on S3, on Google Cloud, on Azure, uh, Minio, you know, some sort of uh, storage like that. Uh, although the way this connector is set up right now, it works particularly with S3. So if I click on Hadoop Catalog, okay, I can then enter in my S3 credentials. So you'll put your access key there, your secret key here. Then here you would put the address of the actual like uh, bucket you plan on writing the data to, and you have to make sure that you prefix it with S3A. So it'd be like S3A, my bucket. Okay, that has to be in there. And then I found that I needed to put these optional fields in here. So here I would just put in like my region, and then here I had to put in the endpoint for that region. So I just went to this page right here on Amazon, where you can find all the endpoints for the different regions. So I had just put like this in there and it worked fine okay but basically you you would just do that and then you would save that destination I've already done that so you can see I already have let me just discard these changes I already have a Apache iceberg destination there okay and then what you would do is you'd create a connection choose the source you created choose the destination you created I already have one connection created I already ran this connection a little while ago so I've already ingested that CSV file okay and then I can see here in my bucket okay basically this was the bucket that I was targeting I go in the, um, I go in there and I see this default so it's just sends for default database and in there I see the table okay our byte raw CSV file because I didn't I just went with the default setting so I didn't choose a different table name okay but in there I can see that there's the iceberg data and the iceberg metadata and then there there's all the metadata.json file okay if I go over here I can see the the data so here's all the parquet files with the data all well and good okay so the data was worked okay 
Airbyte was able to take the data from my CSV file, which could be any source, literally any source in Airbyte. So you can be getting it from other databases, data warehouses, anything that, that Airbyte supports, and I can deliver it to my S3 as Apache Iceberg. How cool is that? Now, one thing to be aware of, though, the way it currently works is that, so right here, I connected my S3 bucket. So this is a Dremio. So I've connected, and I'm running Dremio from the Docker container. So if you want to run Dremio from the Docker container, you just run this command. So just go to the Dremio OS hub.docker.com page. And then you're just going to run this command right here. And then you'll be able to go to localhost 947 to see Dremio running. This is a great way to sort of get used to the Dremio UI and play around with Dremio. Um, you know, also you can always just create a Dremio cloud account. Um, those are free as well. So, but now if I see here, I have my S3 storage connected. And again, if you want to do that, I just click on add source. And I can connect all these different possible sources to Dremio. Okay, I want to collect Amazon 3 or Amazon S3. I would put in the name, and then like here I would put in my access key. Here I put in my uh, secret access key, and then that's it. I would just hit save, and I should be able to see all my buckets. So like right now, if I click on S3 here, I see all my buckets. I click on name Dremio Cloud, August 15th, warehouse, default, and see there is my... Uh, CSV file. Okay, I'm gonna un can I unformat that? Mm -hmm. Format. So we'll go to unknown again. Okay. Well, usually what's gonna happen? Let me actually just re-add the source for a moment so you can see what it looks like from scratch. So I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so I just re-added the source. So you see here S32. So that's my second adding of this. So you can see that when I first add the source and I go, I navigate over to where I have that data. Warehouse, default, error by raw CSV. Notice that right now it doesn't recognize it like an iceberg table. If you saw in my original one, if I go back over here, see it already recognizes it as an iceberg table. How did I do that? Okay, if again I go back over here, the way I made that happen is that anytime you have a directory that's a special type in your uh, S3 storage, what you can do is you can click right over here where it says format folder and that's going to open up this dialog where I can choose. It'll normally detect it. So see, it detected that it was Iceberg. Okay, and recognize it. But this could be, you know, a folder of JSON files, a folder of Parquet files. This could be a, a, delta, a folder with a Delta Lake table um, and so forth. And what it can do is it'll recognize that folder. It's like, hey, this is one single data set. And uh, basically read that. Okay, so this allows you to easily say, hey, that this is a data set. Okay, so there we go. Now I have that data set here. In Dremio, and I can query it. Okay, so basically that data that I've just ingested, and I keep in mind this is running on my laptop, so uh, the performance reflects my laptop at the moment, not the, which you would get like necessarily on a a Dremio a full on Dremio cluster, although that was still pretty quick. Um, and basically what you see here, and here's something to keep in mind that the way that the Airbyte connector currently works, as you can see, if I go back to destination iceberg. You see here in the documentation that the data comes in three fields. So technically, you don't get my CSV file with all the columns in the way I expect my CSV file are. Is you're gonna get a data set that has three fields: a UUID, a date, a timestamp of when the data was emitted, and a JSON field with uh, the data. Um, so if I go back over here to Dremio, you can see that all the data from my CSV file is here in this JSON construct. Okay. Although, again, Dremio has a facility to make it really easy to make these conversions. So I've already went and created a view here in Dremio uh, that basically parses all that JSON. Okay. So you can see here, now I have all that JSON in a separate field. Okay. And all I, used, I had to do was just use a convert from function. Okay. The convert from function took the JSON field and turned it into a struct. And then I could just say, hey, each struct field has its own name and its own column. And, it was pretty straightforward. And that's the great thing about Dremio, that you can give people close to raw data and they can self-service deliver that, that the, the curate the data sets they need without making copies. Um, so really allowing a lot of that last mile ETL work to be done um, by your data analysts and your data scientists. So that way your data engineers can really focus on the, getting, on the integration of the data and the data quality of that sort of, that, that raw data. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoy this, but you can see here, pretty easy, I can, ingest data from many many places using Airbyte into Apache Iceberg into my S3 and I can easily query it, query, query it using Dremio. So if you guys enjoyed this, I should have a blog with all the steps coming out probably next week or so, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, it's an exciting world right now uh, as far as what you can do with data and how easy it is to get data from point A to point B with the growing number of tools that are out there. 
Um, but yeah, I'll see you all later. Have a great day and enjoy.